What's up, queens? If you want to go from fugly to just regular ugly without using Snapcam, I'm going to teach you how to use a beauty filter in OBS. Follow along. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is, and first you're going to ignore this. Just ignore that. That's long story. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to add a video capture device. This video capture device is going to be your webcam. So you could rename it to cam. I'm going to leave it as video capture device just for the ease of what we're doing. And if you like skip over later in the video, you know what is where. Um, so video capture device. Now I'm going to choose snap cam because I'm using a virtual cam because I'm using my cam in multiple locations, but I'm not currently using the filter on snap cam or anything. So this is just how I naturally look without a filter. You're going to choose what your webcam actually is. So make sure you pick whatever yours is. I'm using the Logitech C920. So just choose whatever the name of your cam is. I am going to press OK. I'm going to make this extra large. I hate this. This is terrible. But, you know, for the ease of showing you, and I'm going to flip it just because I want it to, to match in like my video, you know, whatever. I'm going to flip it. Great. So now you can see my pretty, pretty face. And as you can see, I've got, you know, some texture to my skin a little bit, it's kind of like a little red, a little, you know, some acne scarring. And you know what? We all just need a little bit of a touch up and that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is go to tools or no, actually, before you go to tools, you are going to go to this website and it is in the description. So this is the script that you need to download and add to OBS. It is a dot l u a i don't even know but whatever you're gonna press download it's going to download as a zip file you're gonna go to your downloads folder then you're gonna extract the file and then you are going to paste that file in let's type it out here so this is the file after you've unzipped it you're gonna copy that file so you're gonna go to program files obs studio data obs plugins front end tools scripts um so i'll put that also in the description so that you can navigate there but what you're going to do is go to your downloads after you've downloaded that file and then you're going to move on extract the folder and then take the little file which will be this one and you're just going to paste it here in this area so to add that lua file to obs you have to go to tools scripts click this plus sign right here then you're going to press open and I've already added it, so here it is, and then it shows up right here. Now you're gonna close this, because it's already in there, and you're good. And then you are going to go back to your video capture device, and you're going to right click it and go to filters. Once you've done that, you will press this plus sign, and you will click de-blemish. That is what it is, that's what it's called. And I'm gonna again, leave it named de-blemish, but feel free to call it beauty filter, whatever you wanna call it, I don't give a but, um, and let's see. Now, this is the tricky part. So, mine is actually already created, interestingly enough, but this is what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna press show, not show mask. We're gonna say select color. I turn all of these down. I don't know if this is like necessary yet, but these are the filter right up here. This is what the filter is, and I'm gonna show you how they work. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a screen color. So what you're going to do now is you're going to pick your skin color. So I actually like to go, I don't know. What I've been doing is picking a dark spot on my face. And you might like see why in a min. So I'm going to pick a dark spot on my face. Look at that. I don't even like, am I that color? Oh my God. But okay, so okay. And now I'm going to press show mask and you'll see it on this little tiny screen. I'm sorry that it's so tiny. Let me see if I can make it bigger for you there. Okay, I'm gonna press show mask. What our goal is here is to make it so that my face is all white, okay? The mask is the white part. Or maybe it's the black part. I actually don't know what is technically the mask, but that's what we're doing. We're making you to be like the color white because all of this black is gonna be where you go through the filter, you know? So the white part 
is the filter on top of you. So let's see. I am going to start. I you, This is really just kind of like an experimentation. You're going to just like see what works for you. So that's softening. Um, Let's see. Mask clip. There we go. We're getting somewhere. This is honestly pretty good. Like, I'm not even mad at it. I, we could just be like, bitch, we're done. But I'm, like, going to go a little bit extra crazy. So I'm going to do... Can we do more? We don't want this gray shit because then, like, everything is going to be filtered. But we'll go, like, here. Um, Let's see. Getting a little more white. I think that's kind of cool. We want this thing is like we don't want to go too much because if you notice like look my eyebrow is starting to have the white over it so the mask will like color my eyebrow and make it disappear so we don't want it too much we'll we gotta we're gonna like experiment around so this black crush tube will add some black back so you can see that. But, you know, I always wear a hat while I'm streaming. You can buy it in my merch store, bbkyle.com. And so now there's like a little bit of a shadow on my head. So we need to make sure that we like take care of that so there's not too much. So let's see. What can we move that will take that away? Do this. Like, fuck it. Do I even need that eyebrow? Let's see. Okay. I think it's like fine. I don't really get many like things on my forehead anyway. So it's like not that serious. So I think like here is like cool. I'm just like doing this tutorial. You can do this however you want anyway. I'm just doing this to show you how I do it. You know what I mean? So basically, here we go. We have our mask. That's what we're going to do. Also, one of the things that I found that helped me like to get this like the all white and like whatever is like you can do like shit like this and like just uncheck certain things like whatever, you know, do you experiment like I said. But anyway, so here we are and then we are going to uncheck the show mask. And so now here we are. Again, there's no filter on yet, but this is what it's going to end up looking like. So we have, we're going to, I just go crazy, like fuck it, like all the way deep blemish because this deep blemish mix is where it really comes into play. So this is just the deep blemish. So you, as you can see, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. But this is like crazy. Like it's so soft. It's like too crazy. So you don't want to go so high. We'll go like, I don't know. I like to go somewhere like in the middle, you know, classic, right? It's like filtered, it's filtered enough. I didn't like do any like contour or anything. I wanted to try to be, I do have like a tinted moisturizer on though. So I do want to like keep it real with you. Um, And I didn't like want to do too much though. Cause I wanted you to be able to really see me blemish. This thing is like, these like filters are really good. If you're like a drag queen or you wear a lot of makeup while you stream, it's really nice because it helps blend the makeup for you a little bit. So you can kind of go crazy and it will like still look nice. And this color replace, that is what we just chose right there, right? So that mask color, this color replace will actually like add. So if you have like redness to your skin, this is great because it will give that you, your skin tone color a little bit back, like a little bit back in the skin. You could go crazy and then you're like, look, I'm all that same color. It looks odd. Don't do that. Don't do that. But you give yourself just like a little bit. And so now you can see, I'm going to move this out, but because I'm going to do this, you can see the before and after, but I want to show you in like a larger scale. So look at it here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just saying, like, it's not crazy, but like it, if you want to like stream, if you're a little like nervous about streaming because you don't want people to be like too focused on your skin or if you want just something that'll help blend your makeup a little bit better. I just say like here it is. I didn't want to gatekeep the filter that I'm using. I was using Snapcam filter. It's really good. I There is a way to still use Snapcam. There's going to be a lot of steps in place. I don't know. But I figured since they decided to stop allowing people to use Snap Camera now, I would show people an alternative and not gatekeep it from anybody else that might want to use it. So here you go. And I hope that that was informative. And then, yeah, I use a green screen also, as you can see. And then, you know, do all that extra stuff. So just like add your chroma key. It might like mess up some settings or change some things. Let's just do it. You know, like, fuck it. I'll just show you. But yeah, my, my chroma key was set up pretty nice already, so I didn't have that issue, but there you go. 
if you have any questions about this or anything um don't ask me because i i honestly won't know so just like leave it in the comments maybe somebody else will see it and be able to give you an answer oh also don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and catch me on my stream sometime come hang out i don't usually do tutorials this is going to be the only one that you ever see from me so if that's why you want to subscribe don't even